Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Today, I'm going to be closing out the mainstream RDNA 2 lineup with the RX 6900 XT. This is the same die package and memory subsystem as the last two cards we've tested for the most part, but it does have the most enabled core and usually the best bin. So hopping right into the hash rate sheet, you can see that this thing is still efficient. However, it's dragging a lot more core along for the ride, and the reason why you see a lot more left, sorry, left side yellow and orange is because this is like a 90 class card. The hash rates are good, but they're basically the same as a 6800 XT or a 6800, which are down market cards. So I'm evaluating the hash rates here a little bit more harshly than I was the last two weeks, but the efficiencies are still very good. Just like with the last two cards, we're going to be starting bottom up with Kapow, Prog Pow, 0.242 mega hash per watt, which is extremely good efficiency on the 31.41 mega hash overclock. And then we got almost 35 mega hash, running the memory a little bit harder, but our efficiency, <coughs> sorry, our efficiency did drop notably, so I'm still not in the mindset where I'm going to run that overclock, but I know there's a lot of people out there that want the maximum hash rate to get their yields down because they have fewer cards, and you can even push these up to 37 or 38 if you start really kicking the core, but you lose a lot of efficiency very quickly. Pigeon, this was probably one of the closest cards I've seen to efficient in a while. 0.168 is not bad at all, but still not what I would call efficient. Moving up to ETC hash, 0 0.508 hardware efficiency, very, very good. Again, these cards always smacked in the Ethereum days. They're still good now. 61.57 mega hash is great for a 6800, but again, for a card that was technically competing with a 3080 Ti or something like that in the marketplace, it's just not very good hash rate. Ergo, this actually did a little bit worse than the 6800 XT or the 6800, and I speculate that's just because there is that much more core being dragged along for the ride. So very similar hash rate, but a little bit more power. Carlson, the hash rate was a little bit low, but the efficiency at 13.57 mega hash per watt is quite good. Eight or better, in my opinion, is definitely worth it. Carlson, uh, sorry, Radiant, same thing. Hash rate's a little bit unimpressive, efficiency's good. Um, Ironfish, I actually found the efficiency wasn't quite what I would call good. I think 150 is really where I start to draw the line for, for good, and it's close. 144.57 is very nearly there, but the hash rate was actually, I think, pretty good. I think 11 giga hash is quite good for one card. Alephium, honestly, I'm, I'm happy enough with 1.746 giga hash. That was still at a pretty efficient number, too, over here at 17.816, but dropping it down to 1.46 giga hash we get 18.9, which is stellar efficiency. Uh, Kyla coin efficiency is only okay. 9 is my threshold. 8.449 is where this was pulling through. I don't know about the hash rates. Again, I don't mine Kyla coin regularly. This is actually backwards miner's wallet on solo every time I test that. So maybe we'll hit a block for him someday. Uh, Dynex, a little bit disappointed in the hash rate. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe with BZ miner, maybe the chip configuration wasn't quite going through correctly. This is roughly the same or slightly lower hash rate than we were seeing out of the 6800 XT last week. But again, 49.15 efficiency. Still efficient. So they're good Dynex cards. I just wouldn't waste the card on Dynex. Next to the hash rate's pretty good, but the efficiency is only 0 0.504. And I'd really like to see 0.55 or better on Nexa. Flux, though, 0.580 efficiency, which is absurdly good. 47.63 souls to get that. Uh, our best hash rate in the efficient zone was 53.2. So there is my launch day 6900 XT reference. Still a great card, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that I've only really ever run these post-Ethereum on Flux and Elysium because it looks like that's where they shine. So I'll catch you guys next week for another card. Not sure what it'll be yet, but thanks for watching.